Christmas calling, what's the rush about? They got to post their Christmas letters, time is running out. Mr. Small and Mr. Tall, his bossy trying to hurry them all. They're known as Mr. Man and Little Miss. Mr. Muddle slips in a puddle, Mr. Tickle, he's in a pickle. Here's Miss Trouble, she's seeing double, Santa's waiting for the post. Early morning Christmas calling, mailman's on his way. Sorting out their list of wishes, they've got to go today. Mr. Clumsy, Mr. Bump, Miss Giggles laughing as they jump. They're known as Mr. Men and Little Miss. So don't forget it. They're known as Mr. Men and Little Miss. Now sing it with me. They're known as Mr. Men and Little Miss. It was just before Christmas, and everyone in Mr. Land was hurrying to get their letters off to Santa. Jack had got up bright and early to write his letter and post it on his way to school. Hi, Mr. Rush. Hello, Jack. Got your letter in the post to Santa yet? You bet. I've got it right here. Hi, guys. Morning, Morning Jack. Jack. Morning, Morning, Jack. Jack. Morning, Jack. Hi, Mr. Forgetful. Where are you off to? Uh, the, the mailbox, <laughs> I think. Great. Could you mail this for me? Of course, yes. Bailey. Where? In the mailbox, of course. The mailbox? Yes, G good idea. Hurry up, hurry up. I haven't got all day. And remember, don't drop it in the snow. Oh, don't worry, Jack. Leave it to me. So, off went Mr Forgetful with Jack's letter for Santa Claus. Don't drop it in the snow. Don't drop it in the snow. <laughs> for the rest of the day, Everyone in Mr. Land was busy mailing their letters. Morning, Mr. Muddle. Morning, Mr. Greedy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Don't drop it in the snow. Drop Everyone, that snow. is, except for Mr. Forgetful, <laughs> who was busy trying to remember what Jack had said. Good afternoon, Miss Bossy. Out of my way, please. Uh, don't drop it in the what did he say? Uh, good afternoon, Miss Splendid. It would be if it weren't for all this snow. The snow? Oh, of course, yes, letter. Snow, snow, letter. I won't forget that. And so, by the end of the day, everyone had posted their letters to Santa. That's it. The last of the letters to Santa. Don't drop it in the snow. Don't drop it in... Oh, hello, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, hello, Mr. Stamp. Don't drop it in the snow. Don't drop it in the snow. <laughs> now, let's see. What was it Jack asked me to do? Hello, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, hello, Mr. Snow. And then he remembered, or thought he'd remember. Jack's letter. Drop it into Mr. Snow. That's it. <laughs> Mr. Snow, Mr. Snow, this is for you. For me? Yes, Jack asked me to drop it into you. Can't stop. I've just remembered something. Bye. But this isn't for me. It's for Santa Claus. So when Jack came home from school that day, he had no idea what Mr. Forgetful had done with his letter. <laughs> and was happily thinking it was safely on its way to Santa Claus. Until he saw the postman coming home from work. Hi, Mr. Stamp. Good evening, Jack. Don't you want anything from Santa this year? You bet I do. You sure about that? I don't remember seeing anything. I mailed my letter this morning. Let's see. J for Jack, Jelly, Jolly, Miss Jack, Miss Jump. No, no, no. No letter from you here, Jack. But, but there must be. Afraid not. And the post's all gone now. Poor Jack. He didn't know what to do. The next day, Mr. Happy was out for a walk, and he heard a sound, a strange sound. The sort of sound Mr. Happy wasn't happy to hear. And if Santa doesn't get my letter, how's he gonna know what I want for Christmas? Well, you know, Jack, there's more to Christmas than getting presents. Yeah, I guess. Hmm, I think I know just the person to see. Come on. 
And when Mr. Daydream heard the story as well, so it's really he ridiculous. knew just how to help. On you go, Jack. And you, Mr. Happy. This is my magic bird who can take you anywhere. And before he could say Christmas, Jack was off on an adventure he would never forget. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Where are we going, Mr. Happy? To see Santa Claus. The man himself? So you can tell him what you want for Christmas. Oh, wow! What a great idea! On oh, and on yay! Jack and Mr. Happy flew. And passed over Fatland. Riding so high on my magical bird. See how I fly, I am over the world Where the people seem tiny and the rivers are shining And winding blue ribbons below Until eventually they reached Hey Mr Happy, the snow's turned yellow <laughs> It looks just like banana pudding What else do you expect Jack? It's nonsense land Flying through Nonsense Land was very confusing. So they decided to stop and ask the way. Boy, this sure is the craziest place. Eventually, they arrived at Mr. Silly's house. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mr. Happy. Come in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You're just in time for a snack. Let's have lunch. So they did. Except it turned out to be breakfast. So, you're lost. What you need is a map. Now, let me see. Oh, hello, Mr. Nonsense. I'm looking for a map. What for? So Jack and Mr. Happy can find out where they are. Well, they're here. Aren't they? <laughs> so they are. Silly me. Let's go to Boggan in later. <laughs> Goodness me. Is that the time? Let's go and play in the snow. Eventually, Mr. Happy decided that if they left Nonsense Land, maybe they wouldn't feel quite so lost. So they said goodbye to their friends. And at last, they were on their way again. Or were they? <laughs> oh, stop that at once, Mr. Mischief. Don't do that, Mr. Mischief. All right back there. Jack! 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 Where are you? Where are you? Jack. He was completely lost and completely alone. But boy, I sh sure wish I could find a house or something. Suddenly, Jack saw a light. Great! And it looks like someone's home. I wonder who lives here. That'll cost you a penny. What for? Wearing out my knocker. Well? Sorry to bother you, but my name's Jack and I'm lost. Well, I'm Mr. Mean and you're letting all my heating out. Lost, eh? <laughs> That's very foolish of you, isn't it? Oi, this is the meanest house I've ever seen. What's that? Nothing. I was just saying, it's the cleanest house I've ever seen. Don't you like Christmas, Mr. Mean? I hate Christmas. Christmas is a waste of time. 
But don't you like giving people presents? What for? If you give people presents, they just keep them. Sure they do. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, it isn't. It isn't the point at all. Presents are forgetting, not giving. Oh. Sit down, sit down. I'm just about to have supper. Great. I'm really hungry. What are we having, Mr. Mean? Baked bean. On toast? Toast? Far too expensive. And what's all this we business? Hmm, delicious. I'm trying to find Santa Claus, Mr. Mean. Can you give me directions? I've told you, I never give anything to anyone. Directions to Santa Claus cost you, uh, four times ten thousand. Uh, yeah, that's one thousand eight hundred and fifty-nine pounds and twenty pence. What? All right, it is Christmas. Forget the twenty pence. Can't you just tell me the way? You mean, for free? I don't have any money. Well, then you'll have to stay lost, won't you? <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. More coal. <laughs> hey, that's a neat trick. Hello, Jack. Miss Tiny, what are you doing here? Last summer, when I asked Mr. Mean for a glass of water, he said I had to clean his house for a year. A whole year? And I've been here ever since. Right. I want the windows cleaned, the washing up done, and the floors polished by the morning. I'm going to bed. Oh, Jack. What am I going to do? I'm stuck here forever. Don't worry, Miss Tiny. I'll think of something. I promise. So while Mr. Mean went to bed, and Jack tried to think of what to do, Miss Tiny got on with her chores. Where will I find love? How will my dreams come true? When will my heart be happy? If somehow I only knew One day I may find a way for A little happiness Again. Come on, Miss Tiny! We're going to escape! What was that? Uh, nothing, Mr. Mean. Just finishing my chores. Oh, it's no good, Miss Tiny. I'll never get you out of here. And I'm never going to find Santa Claus. Oh, Jack. Santa Claus! That's it! I know how we get out of here. Come on! <laughs> what did I tell you, Jack? Just like Santa Claus! Smart move, Miss Tiny. Let's go! Hold on! Help! I'm right behind I'm you! you. No, oh, no, look, Christmas. Oh, I said Christmas was a waste of time. Free at last. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Miss Donnie. All we have to do now is get out of these woods. And suddenly, as they reached the edge of the trees, it wasn't dark anymore. <sighs> Look, Miss Tiny. It's daytime here. Hello, Mr. Funny. Yes, Miss Tiny. I'm just on my way into town. Jump in. Everyone all right back there? Just about. And now that Jack was out of the forest, Mr Happy was at last able to see him. There he is. There's Jack. Left. Hi, I mean right. I mean, I'm... Ah! Am I glad to see you? And I'm glad to see you too, Jack. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Funny. My pleasure, Miss Tiny. Say hello to Santa Claus for me. Have a good trip. Oh. <coughs> 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 
I like that. That's very funny. <laughs> and so Jack and Mr. Happy continued their journey to find Santa Claus. Coldland Jack, this is where he lives. So once they'd landed, Jack and Mr. Happy thanked the bird for all his help and waved goodbye. Then they set off on the last bit of their journey to find Santa Claus. Jack, look, those are no ordinary footprints. You mean? Yes, come on, let's follow them. So they did, and Mr. Happy was right. There, see? One of Santa's helpers. Come on, let's follow him. have to do is find Santa. I say, excuse me. Can't stop, too busy. Excuse me. We're trying to find Santa Claus. He's busy, he's busy, he's very, very busy. Merry Christmas. Come on, let's see where he goes. Enough. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Look, you two. I missed the mail and I have to see Santa Claus. He's busy. Yeah, that's right. He's busy. I just told him that. Well, I'm telling him again. Why do you keep repeating everything I say? Why do you keep repeating everything I say? There you go again. As soon there as the door again. opened, <gasps> Jack realised why no one was allowed in. Merry Christmas, Jack. I'll be right with you. Later, when Santa had finished his bath, Jack read him his list. Rollerblades, super robot. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. Model plane with remote control. Don't forget the telescope. And the telescope, right. And a soccer ball. A soccer ball. Hey, just a moment. What are you doing here, Mr. Snow? <laughs> and how come you know what's on my list? Remember you gave your letter to Mr. Forgetful? Do I ever? He must have lost it. Not quite. He gave it to me instead. And Mr. Snow brought it here to make sure I got it in time. Well, Jack, it's some list you've got there. I'm sure I can find a few of those things in my workshop. You know what, Santa? Just being here is the best present I could hope for. Goodness me, look at the time. Boy, what a cool watch. Got it last Christmas. <laughs> From me. <laughs> Stand by for chimney practice. 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 Titan belt. Titan belt. Titan belt. Oof. Hoist away. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. Now, lift off. Oh! A bit tighter, I think. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Time I was off. Can I give you a lift, Jack? Uh, no thanks. Just kidding. Where to go, Santa? Is that a yes or no? It means yes. Mm. <laughs> Way to go. Very good. I must remember that. Right. Follow me, everyone. You know what, Mr. Happy? When we started out, all I was worried about was getting a present. But I guess there are other things more important, aren't there? <laughs> there certainly are, Jack. Like making new friends, for a start. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. <laughs> Happy. Mind you, getting presents is kind of nice, though. It is, Jack. Almost as nice as giving them, wouldn't you say? And before Jack knew it, 
he and Miss Tiny and Mr. Happy were taking off into the night. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Way to go! Ho, 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 ho! Ho, ho, ho! Next morning, Jack woke up <sighs> and wondered whether it had all been a dream. I guess it was. I mean, it must have been. But at the end of Jack's bed, someone else was waking up too. Morning, Jack. Merry Christmas. Santa asked me to give you this. Oh, wow! His special watch. So it wasn't a dream after all. What wasn't a dream, Jack? We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, with tidings we bring to you and your We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Jack. Merry Christmas, Miss Tiny. <laughs> <laughs>